Hello, and welcome to the Funnel Forecast on Back of the Net. It's a very, very special one this week. You want to stay tuned right until the end. On the cross by Heffernan, and was that a foul? That's a goal anyway from Funnel, from Funnel, from Funnel. Yes, it is the final Funnel Forecast of this season. And so we need to bring on the main man himself, Tony Funnel. Hey, Tony, how are you feeling? Hi there. Yeah, very good. Yeah, excited. Excited. You're a, bit, a little bit emotional? A little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. You are telling me. It is yeah. going to be a nail-biting week. That's even without the final forecast, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, right. such a, such a nail-biting week. And uh, we can have a little look at the balance now. Uh, so how did we get on this week? How much have we got left in there? Zooming in. Oh, mate. Okay. Tony, how do you think this uh, this has been going? Our, our our idea of building up the money like this has it gone really well, or <laughs> what do you think? I think it it's been good for you and Sam because you you have a laugh every week. <laughs> it's been difficult. It's been difficult for me because, to be honest, we had um, the lockdown come in. Yeah, we had all that time off. Then the players go back quickly for training. Then they start their games. And they played so many games in a short period of time. Um, and the results have been so up and down. It's so <clears throat> difficult, you know, to predict each week. So um, that's my excuses up. <laughs> but I, I will admit, I think I've averaged five correct each week, which isn't good enough. <clears throat> As I've said all along, I need to be... Up there, eights and nines, not fives and sixes. It's an unpredictable game, Tony. We have to start thinking about different ways to, to make this work. But before we do that, we do have to do a final group of predictions. And we do have yet another challenger for you again. And this week it is Jack. Hiya, Jack. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, obviously the result on Sunday wasn't what we wanted. But hopefully on Sunday the results will go our way. Yeah, I was. I didn't know whether to ask you about the Southampton game, Jack. I, I feel the same as you. I, I'm sort of trying to not remember it. It's, it's making me kind of twitch a little bit. Um, yeah. But you know that that's football, I suppose. Um, and Jack, I don't know how you, if you know how this works, but you're going to make some predictions. Tony's going to make some uh, predictions. And if you get more predictions right than Tony Funnel, which nobody has done, you get one of these, Jack. It's a back of the net. Oh, wow. Coaster, bottle. Wow. The, the man said it right there. Oh, wow. Which colour would you go money for, can't... Jack? Oh, red, obviously. Yeah. That's yeah. And you're right. Money. money can't buy it. Money can't buy it. Some might say price. that money hasn't bought it yet either. It's still, no, <laughs> still, in, no. it's yeah. still in production somewhere, I believe. Uh, no, we, we, yeah. we're ready for it. Make your predictions, Jack, but don't gamble. Don't gamble. And definitely don't take my <laughs> advice. No. <laughs> no. Right, here we go. So uh, we've got uh, Tony Funnel and, and Jack here, and we're going to go with Tony first. Tony, Arsenal versus Watford. I know. Every time I back Arsenal, they struggle. They got the FA Cup the following week. Mm but I'm still going to go for an Arsenal home win. I think you might have done the maths on what needs to happen this weekend for Bournemouth, Tony, but I love it. Uh, Jack, what do you think might happen? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be optimistic. I think Arsenal wants to finish the season on a high and Watford didn't look that great against City. So, yeah, Arsenal win for me. OK, both going for that Arsenal win. And then we've got Burnley versus Brighton. Cool, that's quite a long journey for Brighton, isn't it? What do you think's going to happen there, Tony? Yeah, I've been lucky so far with Burnley, so I'm going to go with Burnley, home win. Yeah, they're looking strong. And what do you think, Jack? I'm going to go for a draw in this game. I think Brighton, they're safe now. Burnley, not really playing for anything, so I think it'll just be a boring draw in that game. OK, good, thank you. And then we've got Chelsea... Against Wolves, Tony. Yes. Arsenal's FA Cup opponents. Were they rest players? We don't know. Wolves are still going for Europe. Mm. I'm going for a home win for Chelsea. 
Do you know, I think I agree with you there, Tony, because I saw a bit of the, the Chelsea-Liverpool um, game the other day. And, uh, you know, Ch Chelsea, they, they'll want to finish this season as strongly as they can, I think, especially after that last result. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. What, what do you think, Jack? What do you think is going to happen there? Um, obviously, United are playing Leicester, so Chelsea <clears> really only need a point from the game. So, yeah, I think Chelsea will go for it. Frank Lampard will start his strongest team. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win as well. Oh, this is exciting stuff this week, Tony. Uh, then we've got Crystal Palace against Tottenham. Yeah, I'm going to go away this time. Tottenham to win away. Wow, OK, yeah. I, I think I probably agree with that as well. Jack, what do you think? Well, I have to agree. Yeah, it's going to be a Tottenham win. I can't see Palace getting a draw or even, even, not even a win. So, yeah, Tottenham win. OK. Uh, and then, Tony Funnel, we've got Everton against Bournemouth. This is where I'm going to go against Jack because, for one reason and one reason only, every time I go against Bournemouth, Bournemouth play well. So I'm going mm. for Everton. Okay, fantastic. You're right, Tony, actually. The last four, at least four fixtures, that has been the trend, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has. It has. Uh, it has. I don't know what, what effect your voice has upon the Bournemouth players. We need to, <laughs> we need to bottle it <laughs> and, and do something with it. I don't know what. Uh, Jack, I think I know which way you're going to go, but just put me out of my misery now. What, what do you think? This, what's the thing going to happen here? Oh, very tough because we need a win, need a win. And I'm going to be, I'm not going to be the devil. I'm going to go for a Bournemouth away win and be optimistic. Good on you, Jack. Well done. Um, and now we've got Leicester against Man United, Tony. Yeah, I think a lot of people will probably go for a draw in this game, but I'm going for an away win, Manchester United. They're looking good, aren't they? They're finishing the season completely differently to, to how they were early in the season. I remember you and I, you know, before lockdown, you were sort of shrugging your arms every time we used to see, you know, what's going on there with, with uh, Man United. What do you think the key is to them turning around their season and, and you know, suddenly being so dynamic in the way that they play? Uh, the addition of Fernandez for sure. Mm. But unfortunately, yeah. the last couple of games, they haven't done so good. So... They've really got to pull it out on Sunday. Yeah. What, what do you think, Jack? Do you think the same as Tony there, or do you think something else might happen? Um, United didn't look that good against West Ham. Um, we obviously expected them to get a win, but I think Leicester will really want Champions League, so I'm going to go for a Leicester win. Oh, OK. That's, that's exciting. That's got, we're split a little bit there. That's good. It's good to see. Uh, and then we've got uh, the Clash of the Cities here, Tony. It's uh, Man City <laughs> against Norwich City. Now, you couldn't get further apart, unfortunately, on, on recent performances. But um, what do you think might happen? <laughs> yeah. Sam, Sam already took a guess about what you were going to say. He's already, he's, already, he's already put it in, Tony. But what do you is think it, might happen? <laughs> it's easy to, it's easy to laugh, but, um, I mean, Norwich have got nothing to play for. And they have beaten Cities before. They have, they have completely, yeah. But I'm going to go for a home yeah. win. Yeah, and I've got to say, if any Norwich City supporters are watching this, um, why? But if you are, then I've got to say, you know, they've played some great football this season. I do I do feel bad for them to be sort of 10 points adrift at the end of the season because I, I don't know if their performance has always deserved it. But, Jack, what do you think? Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a City win. I think City will... This is a 5-0 against Norwich. Can I just check yeah, when you say City? You, getting a goal. you mean Man City, don't you? Not really Norwich hard. City. Oh, yeah, Man City. Yeah, Man City. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. No, not so. I was, I was being a bit silly there. Uh, and then we've got Newcastle against Liverpool, Tony. Uh, what do you think Jürgen Klopp's boys are going to want to end the season on? Well, I would have thought they'd wanted to end the season on a high. Um, they got the trophy the other night. Um, mm. I'm going to go for a way win for Liverpool. Yeah. 
Okay, and you, Jack, what do you think? Yeah, I've got to go for say I'm going to go for a way win for Liverpool. Yeah, they'll want to finish the season on a high. They obviously lifted the title yesterday, so yeah, away win. Smashing. And then we've got uh, Saints against Sheffield United, Tony. I'm going home win for Southampton. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will be an interesting one. And what do you think, Jack? Yeah, I'm going to go for an away win for Sheffield United. Um, Southampton did look good against us on Sunday, but I think Sheffield United have looked better to start. So, yeah, Sheffield United. Smashing. And then uh, the final game here, Tony. Uh, it's the claret and blue clash here. We've got West Ham against Aston Villa. What do you think might happen? Yeah, I'm not going to let you down. I'm going for West Ham United home win. Thank you, mate. And what do you think, Jack, if I even had to ask you, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm going to be optimistic and go for a West Ham win. I really don't want Villa to get points. Um, yeah, West Ham win for me. And what an incredible week, of, an incredible final week of fixtures that is. Oh, let's hope we get enough of those predictions right uh, for a positive end to this season. Let's hope oh, so. I was going to say, either me and Jack haven't got a clue what we're doing, mm. or we've put a lot of thought into it because we're quite close on most of the fixtures, don't we? You are very close. That's the, that's the most similar I think we've ever seen it, Tony. Would you not agree? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, OK, so, uh, Jack, as we already know, um, we're going to wish you the best of luck. Really hope you win that bottle opener. You'll be the first person to do so and the first person to beat Tony Funnel, which would be remarkable and a fantastic end to our back of the net season. So um, all the best for you, Jack. Uh, and hopefully we'll be getting you back on to, to see you with your prize. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Good luck, Jack. On. Good luck. Super. And uh, so now um, it's the final week. So uh, Sam is back there somewhere. I'm here. Uh, there he is. OK. Oh, yeah. I thought it would be quite nice you could, you, when, you, when you put the bets in, when you put the yeah. individual bets in to have you, have you here. Um, yeah. So how much would it be on each, each bet? Well, let's uh, let's have a look at where we're at. Hello, Tony, by the way. And yeah, Jack, right, some, some, some brilliant uh, predictions from him as well. So yeah, so what's that? £6.74. One thing I've noticed, lads, is that each week we seem to be sort of gaining slightly or losing yeah. a lot. Now, do you remember there was that one week where we took a, a £5 hit and then it was another £5? But I think we've only ever gone up by a maximum of like one pound and three pence or something so i can't see us really getting back to that 20 pounds unless anyone's got any you know special ideas like mr funnel you you got any i have i have a plan oh go on go on what i'm going to suggest is instead of having our individual bets yeah where sometimes we hardly win anything if one of the favorites wins yeah that we put all the remaining funds on a treble and oh and i presume you're talking about the three matches in question are you the Watford, well, I'm gonna, Bournemouth and Villa yes it's i'm going to call it the survival treble okay ah. but yeah i was about to say because in your prediction you went against yourself but i presume for this we'd be going with Bournemouth is that right yeah for my prediction whenever i go against Bournemouth Bournemouth do well hello i like that idea shall we okay, shall let's we have do a look it. then um wow what an idea so uh competitions premier league so that in that case so we're going for an arsenal win uh we're going for a bournemouth win and we're going for a west ham united win and it's going to be uh what an accumulator so yeah. uh treble we got, we got treble. yeah treble there it is there so six pounds 74 oh hello that would that would give us 109 pounds 58 oh. if those come in that's all you we want. Know, shall I press the magic button? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is done. It's done, guys. There we go. Bet play successfully. That would be all right, wouldn't it? And uh, £109.58. pence. And, of course, it's all being done um, for charity as well, isn't it, uh, Mr Tiggs? It is indeed. And, and Tony, we, we gave you the task of picking a charity. 
So uh, what charity have you picked and, and, and could you explain a little bit why? Yeah, the, the charity is um, the Forest Home uh, charity. It's a um, hospice for palliative care and end of life care for patients and families as well. And it covers all across East Dorset. And uh, also one of our best friends uh, works there, Cathlett. And uh, she's a bereavement counsellor there. So it's a really good cause. That is a fantastic cause, Tony, and a really well-chosen charity to, to pick. And we know that there's a lot of uh, back-of-the-net fans out there that, that will probably want to um, join in and, and be able to donate a bit more. So we've actually set up a Just Giving page uh, for the final forecast. Um, so you, there'll be the link below. Um, and uh, we'd like, if you would please like to contribute, um, you can do so. But also, we're adding a little bit of a twist to that. Uh, so there'll be some prizes. So Sam, what, what, could, what prizes could we have? Well, firstly, this bad boy. I mean, come on, someone's got to win it and it's got to be produced. Hopefully Jack's going to win the very first one by uh, getting more predictions correct than uh, Tony Funnel this week. And if he does, uh, then Jack's going to be, um, you know, getting one of those. And heads up, I'm just going to be completely honest now. No one's won yet, so we haven't actually produced them. We've just got the screen grab. So we would really <laughs> like to produce them. And even if Jack doesn't win, we'll have to with this because this will be something we'll give away. And also... We'll give away this as well, uh, a £20 gift voucher for the AFC Bournemouth Superstore. So uh, you can buy whatever you want. By the way, Nathan Ake is not up for grabs. I've got to say that. Um, and, you know, I believe that the club shop is going to be opening with a big sale as well. So um, I'm sure you'll be able to bag an absolute bargain there as well. So that is another one of the prizes. And there may well be more that's added over the forthcoming week or two as well, Tony. So, yeah, interesting. I've, I've got a prize myself. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm going to donate a round of golf with me at uh, Dorset Golf and Country Club with either breakfast before or some lunch after the round. And whoever wins, I promise them we'll have a good laugh and a great day. Tony, that is beautiful. That is absolutely That's beautiful. So nice. That's so nice. So, yeah, so, uh, Mr. Tiggs, what do people have to do to get involved then with this? Can, so, I, can yeah. I just say something, Tony? Because, I mean, we're in difficult times at the moment. Yeah. And people haven't got a lot of money. No. What I was going to say was, to be in the draw, if, um, if people simply donate one pound on our Just Giving page in aid of Forest Home Hospice, they're in the draw to win the prizes, round of golf, the twenty-pound voucher, and um, what are those other things? They bottle openers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, bottle <laughs> openers, and um, that's the big one. <laughs> if if you donate a pound, you're in. That's brilliant. Even if you don't want to donate a pound, if you could forward the link on to as many of your contacts as possible, that's going to help the charity loads because they need all, all the funds that they can get and for anyone who thinks oh it's a round of golf it's this if you donate a pound and you win you can gift that to someone else for a mm. pound you can gift it to someone who one of your family or friends will appreciate a round of golf so and hopefully you can raise as much money as possible tony that was so eloquently put and and perfectly said you i think you've just you've sold it to me uh, so when you put your, if you, when you go onto the Just Giving page and you make your donation, if you just make sure you put your name on there um, so that when we do a draw uh, a little way down the line, we can call out your name, you'll see your name on the video and we can get in contact with you. Um, so that would be fantastic yeah, if you could leave your name on there. Wow. Can I also apologise in advance to all my friends and contacts because I'm going to post it onto them. Just, yeah. just donate a pound. And have a go for the game of golf. 
I'm really looking forward to that. And you know what? I may donate myself as well. And of course, you know, we did say um, that there'll be a £20 gift voucher, but also we also said at the very start that even if we don't win from the final forecast, um, we're going to put that £20 on as well. So, you know, we will be raising something and hopefully with the help of everyone who's watching you know, back of the net, um, yeah, I, I'd be more than grateful. Um this has been a really joyful video, you know, to do, guys. I, you know, I know that we're only on six pound like seventy four, but it's, you know, it is like really positive. And I was, I was so excited about doing the video today. I got prepared by, you know, I took my laptop, I took my mouse, and I thought, oh my goodness, I got to do my hair and make sure that's okay. I also sprayed some aftershave today. <laughs> yeah, no idea why I did that at all, given we're doing it all online. But yeah, um, I hope you know everyone else is is as excited as i am because mr tiggs that's um yeah that'll be really good and also you know with those three prizes there will be more that will be added and we'll keep them um updated from the next couple of weeks and yeah. we'll let you know the cutoff date and uh yeah tony tony funnel can make the big draw at some point well i'll let you to do, do that sam and then there'll be no favoritism by me but also <laughs> in the round of golf obviously there's four par threes and i'll make sure we've got some little prizes whoever's playing on the par threes Amazing. That's lovely, Tony. That's lovely. Wow. Well, what a fantastic end to the funnel forecast. Tony, thank you so much for doing it this season with us. And I hope we can carry on next season. Brilliant. Yeah, looking forward to it. Fantastic. And Sam, as, as ever, you, you look beautiful and you smell great. So well done, you. Thank you. Hopefully you can get a whiff of that. But yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Tiggs. Appreciate it. And Good. thanks to both of you for all the work you do, because it's a lot of hard work. No problem. It's a pleasure. Super. Well, that's it then for us for now uh, from the final forecast. But please, 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 if you do one thing today, please donate and share um, so we can get a nice amount of money, a nice bit for our charity. All the best. Have the cherries. Yeah.